That's right. I just entered a video with the phrase okie dokie. Okie dokie pokies. That's how excited I am for Roadblock, end of the line, which is a little less than 24 hours away for you people who are watching this over on the uh, Wrestling Rundown YouTube page where we're sitting in front of you right now on this black couch with a bunch of posters behind us. Uh, none of these guys really have anything to do with this except for that. Oh, sorry. He's losing. Where's... If I think which one, put him up there. <laughs> Two of the robot. He can't even handle this. Yep, that's right. Intro, you got to see our beautiful way we've designed the set every week. Uh... Yeah, so this is a pay-per-view which basically seems like standard fare for a Monday Night Raw that you'd see any other week. Like... With the exception of the fact that, you know, usually you don't get seven full matches on a Monday Night Raw. No, not not without one of them. Well, I mean, only one of them is going to last ten minutes. Yeah. So... Generally, the only time you ever get, like, six or seven matches on a Monday Night Raw is if, like, two of them are, like, three-minute long matches. Yep. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into things right now. A match that over here on my phone, it says scheduled for the pre-show. So I'm just going to say it is, because who am I to argue with Wikipedia and <laughs> the giant P in bold next to the match? Rusev versus Big Cass. Who you going for? Rusev. Me too, and Machka we trust. Not that I hate uh, Big Cass, but... Uh... If uh, Tribute to the Troops was any any type of uh, sign with uh, indicator of sorts with uh, with injured Enzo at ringside, it doesn't end well for Cass. Yeah, that was quick. Yep. All right, let's move right along. Let's do it. Uh, another thing that was decided was yes. the number one contenders for the tag team championships. You know what? As I haven't even written this one down. The Just... New Day defend against. Cesaro and Sheamus, again. Man, WWE. And like last year, we thought your repetition was getting bad. Yep. I don't know what's worse, this or Gallagher versus Davari. Oh, it's this. Because we're getting way too much. New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Versus Cesaro and Sheamus. So bad, I can't even say the names anymore. Uh, so, I'm I'm going with Cesaro and Sheamus. Me too. Just because... As, man, as much as I don't want to say it, I, I fucking knew. As soon as they put these guys together, their stupid fucking storyline... Of them fighting each other seven goddamn times after the two like, initial times. Say like, it was like t fucking ten matches in like three months. Then we're like, all right, let's put them together as a tag team. But wait, they can't win the titles yet because they got to like each other and the New Day has to break the record. This has already happened before. I will, I will cheer so loudly if one of them turns on the other one on Sunday. That will make me so fucking happy because I don't want a throw-together fucking team. And fuck you, six months, however the fuck long it's been, it's not, it hasn't even been six months, however long they've been together is not enough to say they are an actual tag team. Especially when... What about Air Boom? They were good. They were together for longer than six months before they won the tag titles. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe, I don't know. They, I don't know. Stupid. Fuck you. Cesaro and Sheamus, I can't believe I'm saying fuck you and Cesaro in the same sentence. This is actually pissing me off. Fuck you, WWE, and your new tag team champions. Maybe. If they don't win the tag titles, it'll be okay. Yep. But I don't know. That's it's sort of how I feel. Maybe not quite as strongly. But that, that was that was my that was my slight rant. You can you can add to it if you wish, but nah, I'm alright. Alright. Another championship we got on the line. The Raw's cruiserweight division slash two oh five lives. 
Rich Swan, I will not call him by that stupid ass nickname, uh, defends you. against former champion Brian Kendrick and former former champion DJ Perkins. All three champions in one match. Yes, the only three people who have been the current incarnation of the Cruiserweight Champion will face off in a main event, uh, not a main event, but a probably main event worthy match. This will probably be a really yeah, good no, match. I'm, it, here's the thing, it's like, for all of Roadblock, I think we're setting ourselves up to be really impressed if everyone decides to just fucking go. And they could, because it is the last pay-per-view of the year. So yeah. they, you know, they might be going like, hey, let's end on a high note here. Exactly. So I mean, we're leaving ourselves with a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of room to be impressed. Yeah, um, I just I, to me, there's just like this like feeling of deja vu for me as a fan of a specific independent promotion where there was a very similar match like this in towards the end of last year, uh, like with Eddie Kingston and Hall Wicked and Icarus and Chikara being the only three guys that ever held the Grand Championship. Doing the which, thing. which 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 company was that again? Chikara. Oh, that one. Uh, it's kind of you know one of those things, a little fishy. Uh, I'd be impressed if a woman comes out and cashes into money in the bank type situation. I'll be real. That beats that would, the winner. That would that'd be fucking awesome. Uh, that's how Emmalina's coming back. Yep, yeah, she's gonna come in and win the cruiserweight championship. <laughs> uh, who's your pick on this one though? We got three. For so. the love of God, let Rich Swan retain. I don't need another rematch for any combination of these three guys. We have like at least ten other guys on the two hundred five live roster. Plus people that you can just fucking interject if you want. Plus we have Tajiri coming back. Don't keep doing the same combination of three fucking guys. Leave it on Rich Swan. This is TJ Perkins. This is his rematch. This is fucking Brian Kendrick's last shot. Just let it fucking drop at this point and have him go against somebody the fuck else. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going Rich Swan. Because same Z's. <laughs> I want to rant a lot on this. Uh, I mean, honestly, it's, it'd be like a consolation prize for me if Brian Kendrick takes the belt back. Uh, just because I'm a, I'm a Brian Kendrick fan. Uh, I have nothing against Brian Kendrick or TJ Perkins. I, it's just... <sighs> TJ Perkins, I don't... I didn't have anything against TJ Perkins. Has this has this storyline uh, put something against TJ Perkins? Him winning the Cruiserweight Classic did. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because you, you were upset that he beat, like, both of your guys, and then he beat the two guys that he shouldn't have beat. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was just... It, it soured me on him, I think, a little bit, that they pushed him so hard. Especially because, like, the first two matches he was in, he kind of got negative reactions for beating crowd favorites. And then they kind of, like, kept, like, oh, love him. Yeah. Dabs. I mean, for, for me, like, you know, the dab was stupid, but I, I didn't have an issue with him. Uh, I, I didn't think that initially he should have won, but I also didn't think that a lot of these guys were going to get signed, especially TJ Perkins. So I thought that, you know, if this is going to be one of those things, it's like, hey, we're doing this as a big, like, hey, check out all of these guys, then, yeah, give it to someone like Tozawa or Kota Ibushi or Zack uh, Sabre, Zach Sabre Jr. Yeah, Zack Sabre Jr. Like, give it to someone like that, and then they gave it to Perkins, and I was like, okay, it's kind of a cool surprise. And he did have some killer matches. I mean, I can't say that he yeah, no, slapped off the were bad. Tournament. And I think that that that's what made me not so upset about him is that he did bust his ass in the tournament. He didn't slouch at all. He had some fantastic matches, but since winning that, like he had his storyline with Brian Kendrick, it made sense. It was good. You had the surprise win from Brian Kendrick, and that was good. And then it should have just left at that. And then Brian Kendrick only held the title for a second, and now Rich One has it. Yeah. So, we're both going Swan. So, yep. right now we're like three and three in agreement here. Mm -hmm. 
This is one of those things where I think we might agree on every single move. Uh, how about the 10 minute time limit match? Uh, which I'm guessing is a safety precaution installed by Mick Foley that uh, in case Braun Strowman gets too ahead of himself and decides he's going to try and murder Sami Zayn, the match will have to stop at 10 minutes regardless. This is also a precaution put in place by the McMahons and Triple H because Braun Strowman might not be able to do anything, do anything past 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, it's a precaution against uh, Braun Strowman regardless. Yeah, Braun Strowman versus Sami Zayn. This is like the only match on the card that has any spirit behind it. Kind because of. Because it's all about Sami Zayn's like determination. Yeah. Where the rest of it just kind of seemed like, eh, let's do it because we want to. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll give it that, but... It's still an underwhelming build for this match. Yeah. Just made Sami Zayn seem really whiny. Mm-hmm. Made Mick Foley seem like a douchebag. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the, that's the biggest takeaway is that Mick Foley's like, no, you know what? I I I don't I don't want Sami Zayn in this match because reasons. Yeah, uh, yeah. So who's your pick on this one? I'm it's a ten minute curious. challenge. He's he's put so much fucking passion in it. It's got to be Sami Zayn. No, I'm curious. Though. Does Sami Zayn win if he lasts the time limit? I think so. I I th I think the fact that I th the fact that that time limit is put there specifically, that or is it just there to save him in case he doesn't have a chance? No, because the whole thing was like Braun Strowman said he couldn't last. He can't last two minutes with me in the ring, and so Mick Foley specifically said Braun Strowman said you couldn't last two minutes, so I'm giving you ten. Yeah. So it's either. Sammy wins within the allotted time or last 10 minutes in the ring with Braun Strowman. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the week we go to the time limit draw. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's kind of where I'm going to. All right, so, hey, check it out. We agreed on the time limit draw again. Well, we're, uh, yeah. Wow. All right. How about Chris Jericho versus Seth Rollins? Because of reasons. Uh, because Seth Rollins wants to get a Triple H, and everybody knows how close Buddy Buddy Triple H and Chris Jericho are. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Nair were there a tighter group of friends yeah. than Chris Jericho and Triple H. Definitely not like anybody who would have ever feuded with, you know, like one of their wives being a catalyst for them to hate each other. Didn't they face each other at WrestleMania? 18. Yeah, I thought so. Where Stephanie was in Chris's quarter. Yeah. After being called a trash bag ho so many times. And then so many times after, and now they're like best friends again, and it's... Yeah, uh, Seth Rollins wins. Yeah, Seth Rollins. Uh, it's... Like, I love Jericho right now. Like, the shit he's doing is Jericho the best, is fucking fantastic The best right in the last ten years of Chris Jericho, for sure. Um, but in that vein... He's still not gonna win. It, it, is, it doesn't make sense if this is all to if this is all to put Seth Rollins forward into this storyline with Triple H. There needs to be momentum for Rollins. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, it's WWE, so to them it might make sense, but it doesn't fucking make sense to have Jericho win. Exactly. Thirty minute Iron Man match or Iron Person match uh, between. Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just escaped. It did. Uh, hopefully, there's a no rematch clause intact on this one. I feel like on Raw they said that this is like... That this is the last time. Like, Well, what? I mean, at this point too, like, there's got to be that caveat like, tacked on where it's like, okay, we're having this match, so there's nothing else we can do after this, yeah. so why don't we just leave each other the fuck alone? Yeah. Who are you going for? Third, third time's a charm, right? Go oh, for Banks. You know what? Uh, I feel like they were trying really hard to hold on to this Charlotte's 
undefeated at pay-per-views until WrestleMania. But I think they might have decided, you know what? Maybe discretion is the better part of Valor here, and we let her lose, and we get to say that, oh, Charlotte won all of her pay-per-view title matches all year until the last one. And then Sasha finally did it, and it's going to be because Sasha already had an Iron Man match against Bayley in NXT. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you we're going to have one fall go to Sasha Banks because of Dana Brooke interfering mm. and attacking her to give Charlotte an easy one-up. Is Bayley going to come out and be the answer to Dana Brooke? No, but Charlie will. <laughs> the dog from, the dogs to, the from Truman to the Troops. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're both going Sasha, though. Yeah. We may not have a wager for this. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's be real. I'm, I mean, we've only got one match left. <laughs> There's one more match left, and it is the Universal Championship match. Pitting the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens, versus the Big Dog... Mr. Dog, Mr. Big Burger Dog, Mr. Oily Hair Burger Dog, Big Guy, Tactical Vest, Bulletproof Roman Reigns, Spiry Mc... Hawaiian Face, Samoan Guy, Punchy McSpearhead. Shouty McWhat's a lot. Slappy McDead Arms. Nah, that's right, Flair. Yeah. No way Jose got into a little Slappy McDead Arms action this week on yeah, NXT. Yeah, did. Uh, yeah. So we either get successful title defense by Kevin Owens or uh, Punchy McSpearface For the love becomes of a double champion. I, I, I'm too curious. Who, who's, your, who's your vote? It's not Survivor Series. So there's a very good chance that Roman Reigns could win. But I cannot vote for Roman Reigns to be a fucking double champion. There's a reason why when we got the Bray Wyatt Funko that Roman Reigns got forced into a corner. I can't do it. I'm, I'm, go I'm going for Kevin Owens because I can't. Just fucking can't. Uh, ditto. No. For sake? No. I don't want that to happen either. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Kevin Owens. Yeah. No, I, we, Initially, was, I was Was like, your other option Roman wins, but by disqualification? Or no, was, my, my thought was Roman would win, and then Kevin Owens would win it back at the Rumble. Oh, fuck no, don't. No. No. Because still, no. This, this, the, Seth Rollins' plan to get to Triple Wait, H... Would the Royal Rumble just continuously be Roman Reigns' group tonight? Yes. <laughs> uh... Like, the idea for me was just, like, the idea, like, that was completely cancelled out by the fact that Seth Rollins said his plan to get to Triple H specifically goes through Kevin Owens being the WWE Champion. Right. Triple H's hand-picked guy okay. to put the belt on. You know, I didn't even take... The Universal Champion. I didn't even take that into consideration as... No, we just desperately don't want Roman Reigns to yeah. be double goddamn champion! Should we go on Kevin Owens? Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, we agree on every yeah. single match on a pay-per-view. Therefore... I don't think this has ever happened. No. Uh, therefore, there's no... No wager for this one. No wager. I, I think I think, I think think that's good. You know, we, we, you know, we already talked about uh, earlier in the week that we're kind of backed up on the uh, the chops from I, the I, last I have, two I have, a, I have a sort of an idea, though. Okay. That involves the point system still. Okay. But it's all on merit of how good we are versus WWE's booking. Oh. 
Okay. Now, I know I proposed earlier in the week for if I'm yeah, making yeah, videos yeah. of the punishment of that the loser would have to eat bugs. Yeah. I'm not not totally cool with that idea. But so, I'm on camera now, so i got to be like kind of <laughs> cool with it. Let's go with the idea that for every match that we get right, since we're sharing everything now, we get a pass. Okay. For every match we lose, we have to eat a bug. Okay, so... And so, for, so each, the, for each match we lose, the bug gets increasingly less desirable. That's fair. So, you know, like, if we eat, like, if we lose, like, one... We're doing this for you, goddammit! Yeah, go subscribe to Reasonable Wrestling Fans. It's reasonable with a W. Like, like wrestling. wrestling. God damn it. All right. So it's, this is not a competition. No, this, this is teamwork now. Yeah, at this point, we're we're hoping that we are smarter than WWE creative. Yep. Oh, for the love of God, <laughs> make us smarter than WWE creative. We might have an end of the year celebration if we get all, hey. all six, seven, what, seven of them, yep. seven matches. If we get all of them right, we're gonna throw a fucking party instead of a punishment video, and you'll find that on Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Yeah, Reasonable the W. Like, like woohoo! Or woo! Because <laughs> it's a party. Yeah. All right. Uh, there you go. You have it. All the predictions. That's what it. Was it Rusev? Uh, Swan. Sasha. The draw. The time limit expires. So it, technically, Sami Zayn. Uh, uh, Kevin Owens. Please, Seth Rollins. Oh my God. Uh, and uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Click the links. There's a bunch of links down there in the description of all of our social medias. Check out the podcast. It's uh, there. There's a link that says SoundCloud. You get all the normal reviews. You won't get this video over on the podcast. I don't nope. know why you'd want to go over there and find this video since this is the end of the video and you've already watched yeah, it Yeah, if anyways. you're already here, don't go listen to it again. I mean, uh... If you want to see any of the other reviews you do, like the Raw Review, Tuesday Night Live, the Midweek Wrap-Up, or Indie News, they're all over in the playlist over there or down below if you're on a mobile device. If you want to, you can rewatch this and close your eyes and pretend it's a podcast. Yeah, you could. If you have YouTube Red, you can actually turn your phone off yeah. and you'll still hear it. You can just listen to us. That's totally awesome. That's basically the same thing as a podcast. And then we've told you about Reasonable Wrestling Fans, that's where you're going to find all that extra stuff. Yeah, like wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll, I'll be watching Roadblock live, so I might be tweeting or posting on the Facebook, so click those links so you can follow me and join in on the discussion. No spoilers, just thoughts on the matches. That's all we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Roadblock is on the list of Jericho. Brendan Man.